I came here not even knowing the difference between being a Republican and being a Democrat. And so I remember sitting in Annenberg and everybody from my wing in Canada getting dinner together and someone asked, you know, please, you know, what's your name, where are you from, and what's your party? And of course this is Harvard, right? This, this is the introductory <laughs> conversation. <laughs> and I remember feeling this feeling of panic welling up inside me as it got close to me because I didn't know how to answer that question. Mm. I kind of blurted out, I'm Michelle, I'm from Chicago, I'm a Republican, which I like, I can't even hear those words right <laughs> now <laughs> together. But it was because this vague association that I knew my dad was voted Republican because he didn't want to pay taxes. And that, that was it. That was the extent <laughs> of my political education. It wasn't right. until I was working after graduation in consulting uh, when I got a call from home that my sister was telling me my mom was in the midst of a mental health crisis. Mm. I took over raising the family and taking care of her mm. and all of a sudden was dealing with government every day in, in most unpleasant ways, mm. uh, bumping up my head against local government. So mm. that opened my eyes to what a difference it makes to serve and, and to be there on, on, on the other side of when people really need help mm. and then became involved in politics when my law professor uh, Elizabeth Warren announced she was running for Senate and I went to her office hours and said what can I do mm -hmm. so she put me to work on the ground and I learned in her campaign that the politics matters just as much as the policy mm -hmm. we need people running for office building teams who are committed to bringing everyone to the table with them <coughs> not just for election day not just to vote but for all of the policy conversations all the fights after that mm -hmm.